Welcome back to ESPN First Take, presented by Bass Pro Shops. I'm here so I won't get fined. Hey, I'm just here so I won't get fined. I'm just here so I won't get fined. I'm just here so I won't get fined. I'm here so I won't get fined. Hey, I'm just here so I won't get fined. Thank you. I appreciate it. Beast mode. Marshawn Lynch may have avoided a fine during the Super Bowl, but he couldn't get out of a $75,000 one for not talking in the media after the NFC Championship game against the Packers. That's right. A league source is telling PFT that Marshawn Lynch finally heard from the NFL about scheduling a hearing regarding a $75,000 fine for that incident. Now, we never heard about it because it wasn't previously reported or disclosed, but according to the source, Marshawn filed his appeal months ago and just learned his hearing is scheduled for tomorrow. Stephen A., your thoughts after learning this? First of all, <clears throat> I'm happy that he was fined. Secondly, I'm not satisfied with the amount. As far as I'm concerned, if at the appeal hearing, I'd want him to tell me why it shouldn't have been more than 75000 Should have been double, as far as I'm concerned. That's where I stand. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, let me break this down because I'm incredibly passionate about this subject, so much so, I challenge anybody. I, I look forward to anybody that'll come in my face to debate what I'm about to say. And I wanna preface my comments by saying, I have no personal issue with Marshawn Lynch. I'm a fan of this brother in terms of what he does on the football field and in terms of what he says he does in the community in Oakland and beyond. I respect the brother's realness. I got no issues with him on that level from a personal perspective. Even had the pleasure of once meeting his mama, who's just wonderful. Just one of the sweetest ladies I've ever encountered in my life. She was really a doll to talk to. Having said all of that, Skip, allow me to get a little personal here, just as you did, to preface the Sarkeesian uh, segment, if you will. When I spoke out against Marshawn Lynch, to me, it's not about him. There are certain issues that transcend the individual and are far more important from a societal, particularly a specific community perspective, than it is about the individual. When you are allowed as an employee of the Seattle Seahawks, ergo an employee of the National Football League, signing your contract to play in the NFL, part of your obligation is media accessibility. And Marshawn Lynch would make the argument and the Arian Forsters, my brother, the M Michael Robinson, who was his teammate in Seattle when they won the Super Bowl, my brother, loved those brothers to death. They argued vehemently in his defense, in the defense of Marshawn Lynch, about who he was as a person, what he had a right to do, etc. And I made it very, very clear to them. I ain't talking about him as a person. I'm not talking about what his rights are. I'm sure he's a real good brother. I don't know him, but I'm sure he's a real good brother. And I respect realness. But when you think about that very community that he alluded to when he kept saying to folks, you want to talk to me, come into my community and see what I'm doing and rap to me about that. You want to bring attention to what you're doing in the community and a kind of effect that you're trying to have on them. Not realizing that when you show up to the Super Bowl, clearly defiant, giving off the impression that I'm bucking authority, that I don't care what they want, I don't care what I'm mandated to do. I'm just here so I don't get fined 29 times. And you are unnecessarily dismissive and, 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 and flagrantly aloof. And dare we say, disrespectful to people who are just there to do their jobs. What are you saying and what type of message are you trying to teach? This is one of the reasons, Skip Bayless, that when I saw, you know how much I love me some Mike Greenberg. Along, and, I, and I have respect for Mike Golick. I love Mike and Mike. But I had a problem with them months ago when they were on the air laughing about how Marshawn Lynch played everybody. It wasn't intentional. They meant no harm by it. But as a black man watching this brother conduct himself that way, knowing that there are a whole bunch of young cats on the come up who are going to emulate that behavior, thinking it's going to work for them. But you know what? They ain't Marshawn. They ain't 230, 240 plus pounds. Plus pounds. They can't run a 4-3 in the 40. They can't do what he does. They damn sure ain't getting his money. How are you going to survive, if not, let alone prosper, if you are conducting yourself that way? That's the issue here. You can't allow somebody 
to walk up there and so flagrantly buck the system while at the same time telling us that these guys are role models, that these guys and their actions are going to be emulated. They have to be cognizant of that before because it could potentially have a profound impact on, fact, on, on, on fellas on the come up who may decide to emulate such a behavior and give them the impression that that is something that you could get away with. You have to send an emphatic message. You will not get away with something like that. We all must sit up there and capitulate to some degree. And the reason I brought the subject up to you, Skip Bayless, and I wanted to do it so desperately. Skip, this is one of the subjects that I brought up. Remember year, months ago when we were talking about, you know, other issues and, and Mark Cuban brought up his comments and cats were calling me a sellout and a coon and all of this other stuff. And I'm sitting there talking about the hell you talking about here. I'm telling you what the deal is and what we have to guard ourselves against if we want to position ourselves to prosper. And if you emulate certain kind of behavior, it will work against you because it will be held against you. And you have to send the message that there are certain things that you simply cannot do. Otherwise, you're going to pay a heftier price for it than you ever imagined. Marshawn Lynch may not have to worry about it, but you will. And we have to discover something like that. And that's why I'm happy that the NFL took the position. We will find you. We will find you and we will make sure that you know this is not something that you need to do, lest it's going to cost you. Okay. I have no problem with it. Help me out a little bit here. Take me a level deeper. Sure. I, I certainly agree. And I think your premise is that it is the responsibility of every NFL player yes. to help promote the product that is the National Football League that pays them the salaries they're paid by speaking to the media just in a promotional vein to, to get more attention for the NFL, to, to get their mm -hmm. quotes in newspapers, to get their quotes mm -hmm. on first take, wherever. Right? Is that that's yep. where you're going, right? Well, absolutely, absolutely. That that that's part of and that's part and parcel of it, Skip. But you can use the word promote all you want. What I'm trying to say to you is you have a responsibility. To say they call it promoting the product, you don't have nobody has a right to go up to Marshawn Lynch and ask him about his personal life and expect him to have to answer. But if I have a question for you about the New England Patriots on Super Bowl week, what is your problem? If I have a question about you running the football, what is your problem? This guy wasn't available to talk to the media when Pete Carroll passed on giving him the football a half a yard away from the goal line, but he could talk to Conan O'Brien and tell him. I mean, come on, man. Okay, you, you, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, you, you, I, I'm with you. You lost me a little bit. Is it just a black issue or is it just a player issue? Well, when you say that for any player? It's, I, I'm saying to you it's a player issue. All I'm confessing to you about is that there are players on the come up okay. who look like Marshawn Lynch, okay, who come from the same kind of community okay. as Marshawn Lynch, who would emulate him, and they don't happen to be white, Skip. With you. Okay, now. Remember, Marshawn did beat the system a little bit here because by, he, he, he got even more famous by what he didn't say or wouldn't say at the yeah. Super Bowl, and it helped right. him get, to some degree, the Skittles endorsement mm -hmm. in the Progressive sure. Insurance national TV ad. Mm -hmm. So some young players coming up will say, well, but he won. You know, he, he, he got fined 75000 I agree with you, it should have been more. But I don't know how much he made from those two national endorsements, but it's a right. whole lot more than 75000 I'm going to guess, right? But my response to that, Skip Bayless, that's fine, good, and dandy. But if you've got Mike and Mike on the air bringing up that point to laugh and talk about how he played the system, somebody on the come up trying to emulate that kind of behavior who looks like him but doesn't okay, get over you. and they end yeah, up doing no. are you gonna laugh at that no nope. it's not it's i'm, I'm saying it, it's, it's not funny and it's because it's damaging to my community okay. i have a problem with it and yet you said he shouldn't be asked personal questions unless he wants to volunteer that information remember that piece i think it was an e60 piece that jeff chadia did we went Fantastic. into Oakland, I into the neighborhood with Marshawn, yeah. and it was terrific because when Marshawn wants to talk, he can really talk, man. Yes, and he he has a story to tell. He has a yeah. lot to say. He has a lot of wisdom in him that just spilled out in that piece. So that's when he chooses to, it's there. So, again, that 
I, I like the example he set in that piece, and I don't know why he couldn't just carry that on into the Super Bowl week. I, I have no well, idea. I don't mean to say that the media doesn't have a right to ask you questions because delve it into you or whatever. They may have to ask you some personal questions. You have a right not to answer. But as it pertains to the sport play, Skip Bayless, LeBron James is the best basketball player in the world. LeBron James gets interviewed all the time. Do you really think LeBron James wants to do as many interviews as no. he has to do? Do you really think that LeBron wants to talk? Of course he doesn't. What about the Wayne Wade? What about Derrick Rose? What about Carmelo Anthony? What about Kobe Bryant? What about Kevin Durant? What about Russell Russell? Do you think they really, you really think they don't have anything better to do with their time? But they understand there is a responsibility that comes with it. And Marshawn Lynch wants to sit there and say, no, I don't have that responsibility. And the NFL is reminding him, yes, the hell you do. As far okay. as I'm concerned, the appeal hearing should be about why is why shouldn't it be more than $75,000? You getting away with this. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, okay. should be more. Last good point. R remember also, this is Marshawn's ninth season in the National Football League at age 29. And at some point, it will end for Marshawn. And maybe he would look back and he might regret that he didn't make himself a little bigger personality go ahead but it's not it's not about what he regrets it's about the nfl and professional sports or any entity yep. serving the reminder to joe public that you don't get to walk in and just do what you want to do when you sign on board Got to it. be a part mm -hmm. of this you have to capitulate and acquiesce just like everybody else that's got it. what you have to send. Got it. Point made loud and clear, Stephen A. Thank you. And we go from one guy who doesn't want to talk to the media to another guy who is and maybe shouldn't be. Is Jake Rudin taking shots?